I'm at the University of Bath in the RepRap lab with uh, Adrian Bowyer, who's the uh, inventor of the RepRap uh, machine. Show me one, Adrian, and then tell me what it does. Okay, I will. Uh, it's on my right here. Um, this is the machine. Um, this is an experimental one, which is why it perhaps looks a little bit scruffy. Um, what it does is it takes a plastic filament, which we can see up on our left there. Uh, here it is, and here it is, in fact, on a reel. Um, it passes it through here, along this tube, and then down to this device here, where it's heated and melted, um, and it's then uh, pushed out through a very fine nozzle onto this flat bed. Um, and it's then put down in a layer. This extrude head then moves up a little bit, and the next layer is put down, and because the plastic is molten, it welds to the first layer, and it keeps doing that until it's built up a complete object. Um, this, as I say, is an experimental machine, uh, and it's also, in addition to working with plastic, uh, working with, with metals as well. Um, and so we can print both plastic and metal at the same time in this particular one. Most rep wrap machines just work with plastic. Turning to the 3 d for d challenge, can you tell me how much a machine costs and what benefits it could bring? Yes, indeed. Um, the machine is not very expensive. Uh, it costs two or three hundred pounds to put one together. Um, and that's obviously affordable to a single individual in the developed world, but a small community in the developing world would also be able to afford such a machine. Um, if they've got, for example, a donated computer that they can plug it into, or indeed just plug it into a phone, um, they can download designs and start printing them. But of course, they can also print the machine itself so that they can have more than one, should they wish, and they can then start distributing them locally. Um, and they can use them for printing both useful and frivolous objects. People print Christmas decorations on them, and of course, uh, just because someone is living in the developing world doesn't, need that, doesn't mean that one doesn't need some frivolity. But going to the serious side, uh, you can use them, for example, for printing water filter elements, uh, printing mosquito net clips, uh, printing containers for vaccines, all sorts of useful things like that. I understand the RepRap can produce about 50 or 60% of itself. Where do, get, where do people get the other parts? The other parts of the machine, the machine is deliberately designed so the other parts of the machine are as widely available as possible. So, for example, the vast majority of the parts and, uh, you can buy in an ordinary hardware shop. They're completely standard components. Um, if we can look at the machine behind me, for example, uh, we can see that these threaded rods that form the structure, um, those are used by the building trade to hold bits of building together, um, and they're available all over the world. There are one or two specialist components, for example, the electronics. Um, but again, that's available on the internet, which anyone can order from wherever they are. And uh, the advantage of the project being open source is that that electronics uh, is available in open source form, so it's comparatively cheap, and also there are multiple sources of it, so uh, one can get them uh, from all over the world from lots of different people. And why did you make it an open source project? Well, if you've got a machine that copies itself and you try to protect the design or copyright it or prevent people from making copies of it, what you're really saying to the world is that you want to spend the rest of your life in court trying to stop people doing the machine, the one thing it was designed to do. I've got better things to do with my time. The only alternative was to make it open source. Uh, and also, when it's open source, given that it copies itself, that maximizes the chances of it reproducing. So it increases, in biological terms, it increases its Darwinian fitness.